Um, but she was so genuine and she was sweet and she was fiercely loyal in a way that when I'm attached to somebody, I'm fiercely loyal. So, um, and she was determined, you know, it came to her academics and what she saw for herself. Oh, yes. Over, there is nobody better for you to be around if you're really trying to be focused and hone in on something. It was Absolutely. Hey, family. I'm Anika. I'm Beyond. And I'm Rose. And you're doing life with Lakeisha on Living Her Truth. Welcome to the Living Her Truth podcast, where we have honest conversations about what it means to live a purpose-driven life. I am your host, Lakeisha Wooder from LakeishaWooder.com, the place where women receive the tools necessary to feel seen, heard, and supported while pursuing their purpose. And now every week, you'll learn those same tools through candid and transparent conversations. Thank you so much for saying yes to having this conversation with me today. Absolutely. You're welcome. All right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about this conversation and I'm a little nervous too. I don't know why, but y'all make me nervous. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have no clue. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't know. It's How always, long you been having this problem? I've always it's always been like that. Really? really? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like that, Nika, when she bossing you around? Ooh. I don't feel I don't feel no nervousness. All right. Oh, she bossed y'all around too. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was the only one. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. no, but it's cool. So it's that's, that, that's, that, that's that leadership in you, girl. Go ahead. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going to be my birthday, though. Y'all going to do happy me Happy like birthday. This. Yeah, happy birthday. Boss lady. I'm <laughs> done <laughs> with y'all. But, um, <laughs> so I love to start off every <laughs> conversation with just talking about how I come to know <clears throat> the person I'm talking to. And so this is going to be interesting because, you know, I've met all of you guys at a different point of my life. And I've known you guys for like a long time, for like decades. We've known each other for like decades. And this is the first time that we've had a conversation like this all together. So I'm super, I'm just really excited to have all of my friends, best friends in one spot to have a conversation. So I thought this would be a good birthday episode because People want to know more about my my journey and my transition. <laughs> and instead of me just talking for 45 minutes to an hour, I just figured, let me just bring on the people who pretty much know me best and who's going to be honest, because I know you guys are going to be honest and like tell it how it is. So, um, yeah, I'm just happy you guys say, say yes and you're, and you're here. So we're going to start with Monika, because I know Monika the longest. So... Monique and I go way, way back to like before we was forming our mama's wombs. Like that's how far yeah. back. Because our grandmothers <laughs> were friends. Mm. Yo, that's that's how deep. far I go back. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our moms yeah. are best friends. So yeah. literally know Monika like all of her life, all of my life, know her. And then Beyond is the next person that I've met. Sure. Yeah, we all I met right after high school because he I met him in school at the first college I went to. So you guys, for all of you who know, you know I graduated from Clark Atlanta University. Well, I attended Justin Justin College first for a year, and that's where university I met. now. Yeah, which is that? It's a university now. It's a university now. Justin University. It's a university now. Okay, Justin. So that means there's more than 500 people there? Yeah, it's beautiful now. You should see it. <clears throat> I'll pass, but okay. And 
They don't want to. Justin don't want. They don't want to see me. They no, don't. They don't. No, they they don't. don't want to see me. No, they don't. Justin College don't want to see me. Maybe y'all mm-hmm. find out why, but they don't want to see me. And so the last person <laughs> that I come to know is Rose. So I met Rose my first semester at Clarkland University when I moved down to to Atlanta. So I've met everybody, all of my best friends at different stages of my life. You got birth, you got the major transition because I met Beyond right after um, high school, which is right after the trial with, you know, my mom's husband with the sexual abuse and things like that. And then I met Rose, um, doing it at the beginning before I even started the the healing phase. So everybody has seen me go through this whole like crazy transition up and down to see me get to where I am today. And to be honest, guys, and and I think I've told all of you this before. I don't know if I could have gotten here without you guys. Like, like I love you guys with all of my heart. Just it's like I say about this much though for Jeremy is... (laughs) You better leave Jeremy alone. That's we all love I got you to too. Y'all better, you better leave Jeremy alone. That's all I got to say. I that think means, Jeremy need a little bit more of that love. You better, okay. leave, better leave him alone. Man, I'm alone. good with it. <laughs> Y'all better leave Jeremy alone. <laughs> That's my guy. Jeremy, Jeremy, cool. Jeremy know we got his back. Yeah. All the way back. Yeah, I do for sure. So I guess I want to start off by saying, just asking you guys, what was your. What was your first impression of me when we first when we first met? Because I know well, I don't have an answer for that. I know, I know you don't have an answer for that. Because that you goes been that. Kiki. Yeah, and everybody don't call you that, but you Kiki to me. Mm-hmm. Always will be. Mm-hmm. You know, all three of you guys call me something different. She was a thug, really. <laughs> Still is. She's Still a is. thug. I mean, it looked like one too. <laughs> I was scared at first. You were scared of itty bitty. Man, them, them the worst ones. You right? They still in that. Got used to that me mug that she used to have. I was just happy it was black people there. So, yeah. So I that's why I wanted to talk to her. I said, "Ooh, black people." Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I went up and talked to her. And she was with this little light skinned girl. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was a thug. She had a bandana on her head. <sighs> and she, her pants was almost falling off her pants. You had a waist and everything. Yeah. Um. What was really going on? It wasn't it was the nineties. It was the. It wasn't the best time in my life. But yeah, like saggy pants, Tim's. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I looked like that probably right before. Right before we we met Rose. Because Atlanta is when I ditched the saggy pants and the Tims. I mean, I, 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 I you know, we can maybe I, I say it now because when I came to Atlanta, Atlanta was a culture shock for me. Because even though I grew up around black people, I don't know, there was it was a different kind of black people in Atlanta when I went to Atlanta. So I got rid of the Tims like immediately. I didn't want to wear the saggy the saggy jeans anymore. But when Beyond met me. That's how it was. Like, I came to class in the flannel all the time. Like, Beyond met me right at the verge of, like, I was making a decision to join the game at that time. Like, that's how far gone I was. That's how far left. So when he said that I was a thug, I mean, you know, it wasn't not one of my proudest moments. But, um, but yeah, and Justin College, you know, is a Christian university. I'm gonna stop calling it Justin University. It's a Christian university, so it wasn't a lot of black people there at all. I didn't know that. Yeah, besides me, him, and the light skinned girl he's talking about, I remember one other black girl. How many black people was when we was when I was there? Two more after that. Two more after that. So wait, where? What state is this in? That's it's Illinois. In Illinois. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. A bunch of black people there now. Yeah. Elgin, Illinois. So, um, so yeah. So I can see. So yeah, a couple of black people come on ca- on campus, and then you know we straight out of straight out. I am straight out of the project. 
the straight out of the projects. We'll go to class, kick back, my feet up all, all up on the desk. We didn't teach a lot. <laughs> yeah, she was. That's exactly how she was, too. Okay. I had to tell the teacher she wasn't going to beat her up. She ain't going to beat you up. <laughs> She's not going to beat you up. This is you had, fun. You had, the, the, the teacher, uh, what's her name? Uh, Professor Mashowski, the old lady. Yeah, she was scared of you. Yeah, I remember wow. that. The English teacher. That was our English teacher. Yeah. What do you, I wouldn't even heard of why, but yeah. I, yeah, she, she, she was scared of you. She was really scared of but she was scared of you, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was there on the basketball team. Yeah, didn't. but she, she was all right, though. She was all right. She didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> and Rose, what about this you? It's funny because I didn't know all of this. <laughs> You know what, wow. Nika, I'm with you. Um, I knew she had transferred in from another school, but I didn't know she was up there um, punking the professors. I had no right. Do you she know how useful that would have been at Clark? She would have been rough. When I was struggling in biology, I could have just had you go in there and handle that for me? Mm-hmm. Just handle it. Mm-hmm. Instead of me stressing and studying? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, you know, lessons learned. We can, you know, we can get the, we can, maybe she can help with the God kids. She can go threaten a couple professors for them. See, I'm not, I'm I'm not that person anymore, though. I think we could dress you up to do it, though. She's (laughs) still in there. It's still there. It's still in there. It it come out every once in a while. It come out. It come out. Mm -hmm. It come out. Yeah. She She forget. Yeah, she does. She does. I think when I first met Keisha on campus, I, I was thoroughly convinced that the day I met her, I was introduced to her by um, a girlfriend of mine that I'd gone to middle school with and hadn't seen since middle school. And uh, I was taking a summer course at Clark and she met me up on campus and she introduced me to Keisha. And that was Rahima. And uh, I just remember her walking up and she had this, that mean mug. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who, who are y'all introducing me to? This is not going to (laughs) work. Like, (laughs) I felt like somebody was, um, I've never been in a game, but I felt like she was stepping on my turf a little bit. And I was like, she's not going to be friendly. This is not going to work. I'm not going to like this girl. I had already checked that box. Mm-hmm. My mind, no, I don't, I don't want her hanging out with us. I, no, but I'm cordial because she's a she's a friend of a friend. And after a couple of weeks, what I quickly realized with Keisha, um, it was just like you guys said. It was she had that that tough exterior, mm-hmm. super sweet and very vulnerable, and she mm-hmm. show it to everybody. Mm-hmm. I saw it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from there, I mean, pretty much dropped all the most part and just hung out with Keisha. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It was all said and done. Mm -hmm. Um, I still talked to a few of them, but um, she was so genuine and she was sweet and she was fiercely loyal in a way that when I'm attached to somebody, I'm fiercely loyal. So, um, and she was determined, you know, it came to her academics and what she saw for herself. Oh, yes. Over, there is nobody better for you to be around if you're really trying to be focused and hone in on something. It was Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was what I picked up in the first, probably the, <clears throat> the first few weeks of really getting to know her. Um, and it it was one of the best decisions I ever made to kind of just back up and really look at that person and really see them for what they were rather than just looking at the outside exterior. Um, Cause she, you weren't wearing, you know, the, the Tim's and all of that when I met you, but she was had on her sneakers, hair pulled back in a bun, you know, still very much that around the way girl. Mm -hmm. Um, But if I, I could have put her up against anybody at CAU and the tenacity that she had, nobody could beat that. 
Oh wow, y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna make me cry. Y'all ain't gonna make. Who's gonna cry on this camera? <laughs> Your camera is bad. Do not. We ugly when we cry. Don't do it. <laughs> and no crying. I was gonna ask how long did it take for you guys to see past that uh, see past that that hard exterior? And Rose, you said like a couple of weeks because you know with with Beyond, it probably wasn't that long. Right beyond? No, it didn't. It didn't take. It didn't take long. No, mm-hmm. you were. Uh, I saw you was all right. <clears throat> you know, like Rose said, you had that face. Yeah. And I said, "Yo, oh, well, she gonna beat me up or something." But, <laughs> but I, but I talked to you anyway because yeah. you weren't even paying attention to me. 